Hey everyone, Tolly Dove here, um, and today I'm going to be making a video on how to root and also apply a lag fix to your Samsung Galaxy S. Um, I did this because I realized that my Samsung Galaxy S was a little bit sluggish and a little bit laggy, so to speak, and I saw that uh, the Voodoo lag fix, for example, is a really good way um, to make your phone faster, and it honestly does work. So, why do you want to root it? Well, first of all, it's like jailbreaking your f f um, iPhone, but really, for me, I don't care about apps or whatnot. I care about speed. Now, I don't know if you can see, but obviously it's a little bit blurry now. Uh, see if it uh, will focus. Anyway, basically, it goes with HTC, HTC Magic, Motodroid, Xperia, HTC Desire, Nexus One, Samsung Galaxy S. After that, it goes uh, Moto Droid X, Evo 2.2 Plus, Moto Droid X 2.2 Plus, Nexus One 2.2 Plus, and your device on top. Basically, this is a benchmark test, so like in overclocking, like for your uh, for your PC. So I've got a score of 1,535, and the Galaxy is around the 800 sort of mark. So you can see it, it almost doubles the speed and it really does show it's really fast I'll show you how to get this interface uh, if you can see here it's a different interface I'll show you how to get that in another video but at the moment I just want to concentrate on routing and um, how to apply lag fix first of all what you're gonna need is um, to go on the marketplace and look for Astro I'll come to that later but it's basically a file manager and as my cousin described it as like um, Internet Explorer on your PC basically you want to download uh, the um, to, you want to try and root the device but unfortunately taking it off the market or at least I can't find it uh, the root is Z4 root is what you're trying to look for um, and I couldn't find it on the market I looked already and I've looked a couple of times before and I tried different names and I couldn't find it so what I did is I downloaded it on the PC and then transferred it via USB cable and browsed it via Astro. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, first of all, what you want to do is um, go into your settings, so your Galaxy settings, go to application, um, go to, I think, development, enable USB debugging mode, so check that, oh, my bad, check that and press yes. There we go. Right. Um, although you won't really need debugging mode, but you'll need it for the lag fix, so you might as well enable it now. Um, just come think of it. Right, so how do I get the lag fix? Uh, not lag fix, sorry. Um, the root. Well, you want to go on your computer and go on Google. Uh, this might be hard to show, but go on Google and look up literally Z4 root. Your first one over here will be from the XDA um, and when you click on that so I had it open over there it opens up this page and it says what um, devices are compatible difference between permanent root and temporary root is that permanent stays there uh, obviously you can on root and um, temporary stays there until you reboot so uh, you want to download this file over here, but to download it, you'll need to be a member of um, XDA developers. So I just signed up. Um, pretty simple. You get email confirmation. You just go there, activate, and then get that. So get the Z4 root. And honestly, getting XDA, being part of XDA developers uh, as a member, is really useful because you always get some updates and things. So download that zip. That zip will go onto your um, will go onto your PC. Once it's gone onto your PC, you want to extract the zip file and open it up. Then, all you do after that is literally plug it in. So, for example, like that. You want to plug it in. There we go, simple as that. You plug it in and on your computer you'll be able to access your Samsung Galaxy S. Once you're able to access your Samsung Galaxy S, just open the normal um, memory, just your normal standard memory, open it up and um, literally um, copy and paste the zip, well the 
extracted file into your galaxy. If it doesn't make sense, I can explain it better in comments if you want, if you don't understand that bit, but it's literally like dragging a music file into your galaxy. Once you've done that, unplug it, um, and then now you want to go to Astro. So you want to go to Astro and it opens up the file manager. Basically what, uh, what I was saying about that is uh, the file is um, I can't remember exactly what type of file it was, but uh, let's see. Um, Z for root. I think it's an A, A, F something. APK file. So the Astro reads APK files. Um, and then all you'll have to do is just look for the APK file. It should be there. See, there you go. I've already got it there. Um, I haven't got it out. And you'll see. Oh, God, this camera sucks. Um, it says Z4 root AAP. Um, I, I don't think it's going to focus anytime soon. Um, anyway, that's the application. And so basically, I still haven't deleted it, funnily enough. But basically, you want to do that and you want to open App Manager. As soon as you do that, it will open up the file and all you want to do is install the app. Once you've done that, you've gone through that process, you will just literally open up the app and the app will be. Z4 root. So you click on Z4 root and it'll open up and basically it'll say um, temporary root or permanent root. You click on the permanent root, it'll switch off your phone for a couple of minutes, switch it back on and you're rooted. Um, here you see it says reroot and unroot so you can do that later on. Uh, to know if you're rooted or not I'll just go into my settings Let's see. Um, basically my firmware firmware version is 2.2 baseband i9000XXJPP kernel uh, kernel version 2.6.32.9 um, and it's got a voodoo lag fix on it um, and the build number for your XXJPO I can't even speak now so there we go this camera is sucking ass come on concentrate oh for god's sake anyway it's being a, it's being a whore um, so once you've done that, um, all you want to do is, so you've got a rooted device, it's already rebooted, all you want to do is go on Voodoo. So you want to go on the marketplace, um, which is over here, marketplace, and look for Voodoo lag fix. I'll just put in lag fix. Voodoo lag fix, one click install. There you go. Open that up basically blah 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 it says install voodoo lag fix as soon as you click that it will turn off your phone and suddenly um, like a robotic noise will be talking so it'll be like nah, 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 nah. applying lag fix nah, 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 nah. anyway <laughs> random noises and you, you just can't use it for about five minutes after that's done it'll reboot and you've got the lag fix simple as that so you'll have um, a phone which is almost two to three times faster. Um, you'll have a rooted phone, and basically, you'll have one of the best phones out there. It is absolutely amazing. It is quick, fast. You know, I can open applications quite quickly uh, in comparison to before, especially when it comes to typing or you know Facebook or something like that. You know, um, so yeah, it's really quick. Um, Oh, angry birds, I don't know. There you go, I mean, it's just, it loads really fast, opens up applications quite fast, and that's it. So, there you go, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, and um, on a final note, I did say I'll, I'll talk about that, actually. Um, to get this sort of background, you need to get... Let me see. I think it's Zeus. Let's see, where is it? Zeem, sorry, there we go. Zeem. Look up Zeem on the marketplace. It's free. Um, Zeem 2.71. Download it. It will change the application. Hit the home button once. Click Zeem. Click use as default. And basically, you'll be using Zeem forever. It gives you more. Um, accessibilities 
and more things to do and increases your speed as well. Hope you enjoyed.